Hello, and welcome to another episode of the United We Stand Divided We podcast. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wow. Oh, that, that's, uh, okay, so that's AI. Um, yes. oh, you made, you made that right, Robert. You, well, not you made it, but you did that with a prompt? Yes, uh, yes. All right. Well, but let's, first of all, let's tell everybody how, how that came about. Uh, it came across. I don't even remember which one of us saw it first. I think it was me and I sent you the information. Yep. You but sent me the link. For a while. Yeah. Yep. And, and I was uh, it, about to leave work this this afternoon. And I thought, man, let's see if I can come up with something for the beginning of our podcast to see how cool it looks. Yeah. And it's freaking amazing. And we don't even have to pay him. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, in, in, Free labor. In, in, it, it's uh, Hedra.com. I thought it was Hedra. Uh, yeah. But I heard a couple of, uh, uh, I've seen a couple of videos where they were pronouncing it Hedra. So we'll go with that for now. It's uh, H, geez, I can't even spell. Uh, <laughs> spell it for me. H-E-D-R-A.com. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, and, and you can basically get in there and you can sign up with your Google account or I think Facebook, whatever, whatever it is you want to yeah. use for your own security. Uh, and by the way, that is a little more secure doing that way because that just basically means that it, you can, it signs in with those credentials, not that they have access to your personal stuff, just right. to be clear. Um, so it's actually better for you because now you don't have to worry about giving them your personal information. Right now it's in beta. Uh, it lets you do quite a bit. Uh, when there is a free program, you'll be able to use, I believe it's five. We should have actually put that page up. I should have thought of that. Uh, is there a way you could pull up the page that shows that? Yeah. Because I think I think it's really interesting. I think a lot of people should give it a try. There's some creepiness to it because this whole AI thing, is, is it's going to creep some people out and it's going to make a lot of people laugh and a lot of people go, hey, that's really cool. And we're going to talk about all that. Uh, but I think when you have something like this come out in the beta format, it's just automatically in the free. You're just trying the beta. When the beta program ends, you'll have a choice between free and I think it's three different paid options. Well, they up. actually have paid options now. So you can well, actually they do. do a no, paid I, option. Yeah, yeah. I, I, absolutely. But I'm saying you'll be forced into an actual free option uh, or, or paid option. The free option, when it's enforced, will allow you five per day for, what was it? I forgot, 30 second time limit. Um, two concurrent ones can be done at the same time but no more uh and there'll be hard limits most likely i'm assuming uh, and right now they're kind of being a, very lax on it and allowing you to go over that and possibly even to go more than 30 seconds i have not tested it yet so I, I, illinois texas and washington apparently cannot use this tool i'm not I really sure why that. it's just they have a, a disclaimer on here that um yeah so well, let's take it. Let's take a look at it. At it, if you can, if you can put that up for a second, just to show yeah. uh, the page with the pricing. I mean, uh, specifically, um, yeah, because it's it's. I think it's an interesting thing. I I like the way it works, um, and we'll show you a couple of well, at least one other example, anyways, in a bit. Uh, but for now, uh, so here's there we the are. site. Yeah. So the five video limit I know is not enforced because I actually did more than five today playing around with it. So <laughs> yeah, that was like probably the last one I did. And I think I had to, I think I did it like three times and I did a couple others. Um, the one I showed you. So I know they're not enforcing the limit right now. Yeah, but, but when it isn't, but when it is enforced, it's still not going to be. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, once yeah. you get past the honeymoon phase of I got to make videos just for the heck of it because you know let's have some fun eventually you're gonna you know tire of that and you're just gonna go back to it once in a while when you want to it's kind of like yeah. being able to race somebody on the beach in your photo on your pixel or samsung phone and eventually uh, your the next iphone apparently is going to be doing that now too with the with their ai um we can get in, into that later but once the honeymoon phase is over how many times do you do that you don't do it 16 times a day like when you right. first got your new phone, you do it now because you took a picture of your family on the beach and somebody photo bombed. So you get rid of the photo bomber. Other than that, yeah. you don't care that there's a telephone pole in the background anymore. You just, I don't want to, I took the pictures. It's the way it is. 
And AI is going to be the same way in a lot of ways too. You just, you'll have fun with it for a couple of days and then you're just, you got to go to work. You got to pick the kids, whatever it is, right? Got to go shopping, got to do your yard work and everything. And, and, and you're just not going to need that anymore for no reason. But well, if I can you really want to use it, it will be five a day up to 30 seconds. So for people that just want to have fun, that's a lot for free. That's not bad. The basic plan gives you more. I think it's 20. I think it says 20 on the screen there. I, I'm a little far away, so I can't see it very well. But I, it, it's uh, $10 a month. That's actually getting into the, I don't know, range. But for those who really feel that they can use that for something, does it say that the basic plan for $10 a month can be used commercially? Or do you need the professional for that one? So that is correct. For $10 a month, you get 20 minutes, four concurrent generations, uh, video length up to one minute, commercial use, no watermark, premium voices. So there's a lot involved. And I can tell you because I've used some other AI type video applications you used it um as well when we were in you know my other channel that you were helping yes. with and uh, ten dollars a month for what they give you is actually really cheap yeah it's no absolutely really i agree with you it's 20 a month is a lot for 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 that and the fact that you can use it commercially and if you really really like i have to be able to do more uh i need to use it i'm making commercials i'm doing this uh, I need it for my YouTube content. And I'm making a lot of money on my YouTube content and stuff like that. Then uh, the next one is, what is it? $50 a month. And is, what does that say? A hundred? 110 minutes, eight concurrent video length up to four minutes. Commercial use. Oh, oh 110 premium. minutes. Okay. So that yeah. could, that could end up being just a few or, or several rather, or, or well, it could be, or it could be 220, 30 second ones. Well, what's 110 divided by four? <laughs> because you can only go up to four minutes. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, sorry. Four minute idea. I missed that part. Sorry. But yeah. And so like the basic, you me. get, um, you get 20 videos. So almost, yeah. you could almost do one a day. Yeah. And so my, my idea and what I'm thinking is these would be, this basic plan would be fantastic to use for shorts on a channel. Actually, you know what? I, I, I totally see that. I think, I think I could see as a matter of fact, I, I I would encourage anyone who wants to make a lot of shirts because there's a lot of options out there. A lot of them paid and some of them free. And of course you have things like YouTube, which is just, you know, they, you could make shorts out of YouTube videos, you know, pretty easily, but having something like this and being able to make shorts specifically for your content. Um, I don't know. It just seems to me pretty good. And yeah, I think I mean, you mentioned, there, there were, some, there's some people doing like, music with this with this program yeah. and, and and rap stuff and and whatnot look they have this little um oh the potato guy is funny yeah but guy. so here so yeah let's listen to this here let's tell stories that stick you need more than just random clips you need characters characters that can talk express and wait does the script say rap i'm all kinds of bad when i drop on the beat <laughs> That's amazing, man. Yeah. That's I cool. love it. I was going yeah. through their Discord channel last night. I was up to like one in the morning playing around with it. And there's some people making some videos, some songs that are just like, it's unbelievable. And to be able to do yeah. a short, have one minute video that you can do on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts. There's like four or five platforms you can use one video on to monetize your stuff. I mean, it's yeah yeah that's amazing. you know by any and even even without that i mean honestly uh, there's so much more you can do with it too because the way the program works and you, you can do this right from your phone um uh, this is the great part about this you can do this right from your phone which i did uh and you can use a still picture uh, when you're using a picture it is it specifically states that it has to be of yourself because it's the only way that is guaranteed that there is, you have permission. Um, there are people who are saying you can use a picture of anybody, and some people are obviously skirting by that and doing it. But keep in mind that if you use a picture of somebody else and you don't have written permission, yeah, it's not a good idea. 
So no. stick to using a picture of yourself or use an AI generated picture. Now, the best part about it is the AI generated, there's obvious, it's, it's, it's always obvious that it's an AI generated picture. So you can say, I want an AI generated picture of Will Smith. And it's entirely possible. Now, if, if this program doesn't do it, you can ask another AI program to generate a picture for you and then save the picture and upload it to this site. And then you can give it a prompt, add a voice, record your own voice, or, uh, and I, I want to add mine in here right now so I can show this real quick. Yeah, I was going to say about recording a voice because that's an important aspect oh, yeah. because yeah. you could have, um, you know, a, a potato head guy with your voice coming out if you want. But yeah, it's... Um, well, actually, it's, wait a minute. You know what? If this, just for the heck of it, um, do you have a picture available? that, or, or no, wait, let's just generate an AI picture. You could probably do that right now as a demonstration. Just yeah, I could. Quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I'll do that. Might be interesting. Um, but I want to. This one right here. This right here. I want to play this real quick because this is funny. I laughed. I played this like three times last night. Rolling up colonies, red coat heads on my list. G dub on a track, better brace for the fist. Tea parties in Boston, we need sipping no tea. Trying to tax my oh, people, keep swinging act. You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> what actor that guy looks like even though he's obviously supposed to be uh, oh big gosh not george washington what's the is it george washington or that i don't remember but um he looks like a famous actor though let's just say that um yeah yeah let's 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 give this a shot i'm gonna keep uh, quiet here while you do this prompt here let's see what i got here for a picture of myself i'm kind of curious about that oh you want to do have... it that way okay i thought you were gonna well, do a prompt yeah, no, you still have right. to do the prompt, but I was kind of curious. Yeah, I don't have, I have a bunch of pictures on my laptop. I don't have a lot on this desktop right now. So let's, let's just do this. So we'll say, hello world. Welcome to the future. Okay, so then we pick a voice. Um, a British voice sounds pretty God good. has given you one face. Yeah, let's do. Let's do <laughs> so we can um, we can say a um, you know what? Oh, you're just gonna generate something. You what can, is that? You can have it. <laughs> oh, hey, what the heck? Does he just? Oh no, wait! Give it a prompt. Give it a prompt so people can see how fast it does the prompt. Because those are okay, those so, are pretty done. Um, yeah, make it something stupid like. Uh, like a, a, yeah. a horse riding a human, or 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 a or a dog and a cow, or something, whatever you know. I mean, I, a beaver holding a, a Canadian flag, you know. <laughs> so let's do <laughs> let's do a human head on a horse. A human head. Oh wow! Let's see all that. That's probably not going to come out very good. No, it oh, didn't. Yeah. It's just a person. Yeah, it, 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 for some reason, this particular program has a hard time with that. So let's make make it talking make it horse. Cool. I would probably just be a horse. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's a human with horse ears. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. you know what? Let's just animate it. Screw it. Let's uh, animate it so we can demonstrate uh, this. Okay. So, all right. So once you pick your horse head and you have your script over here, which right now on the free, they only give you 300 characters. So this kind of is what determines video length, depending on like what the content is. Right. Um, because I could never even get 30 seconds. I think the longest one I got was like 15 or 20 seconds. Uh, I think the one you did was like because 21 counts, seconds. Yeah, because it counts spaces as characters. Right. So it just depends on what you have written there. But because um, there's no and way it, to extend it. And also so, a, a line, a line spacer is 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 two spaces. Like when you if you hit enter to go down a line, that's like two spaces, not one. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, too, what I like here is where it says you can randomize, you know, how it looks. So if you click this little circle right there, it keeps the picture and it just oh, changes. Now, she's, now she's got a horse mane and ears. Yeah, That's but cool. it's and then she's looking at a different direction, you know. So, oh well, wait, before that. before you generate it, um, uh, what is what did you write again for the for the uh, for the hello world, right? welcome to the future. Capitalize. The entire word "welcome" as a shout. I just want to demonstrate to people just how unbelievably well this works. 
and that the facial expression should actually show up that that particular word is actually being emphasized hugely incorrectly yeah. in, in English, but hugely. Uh, and but you, you can you have do it do a lot of automated stuff. You just you can just click down here, randomize prompt, randomize seed. So it, it'll like keep yeah. you doing it. Um, so but anyways, so that's our words. That's our funny horse character. And so then you just click generate video. And no, being I'm, that I'm this not is sure. short. It, yeah, it, it can vary anywhere from several seconds to over a minute. Um, yeah, obviously, th being just a few words, though, it shouldn't take too long. Of course, again, being in the free version, you have lower yeah. priority in the server queue. That's uh, 100%, generating this. Yeah. Also, but, also, keep in mind that this is not happening locally. The entire thing is taking right. place in the cloud. Um, right. So you're not you're not the only resources you're using is the fact that you have. a. But see, look how fast that was. So. Yeah. So here we go. Are we okay. ready? Let's yeah. play it. Hello, world. Welcome to the future. Yeah, it was so short you didn't even get much out of the welcome. But play it one more time so I can see the face. Watch the facial expressions. Hello, world. When... Welcome to the future. See, there was that welcome. There was a bit of a, a, a flinch because it was it was it, the word was made bigger. And. Yeah, I mean, it's so easy. Like, oh, I was going to tell you to add one more thing. I was going to tell you to put three dots behind welcome. <laughs> and see, it's nice, too, because they give you down here. It lets you, you know, you save like your previous generated video. Yeah. So you can always go back and download it. And you can download this too, as a file. So we can yeah, download it and, um, you know, use it for whatever you want. But again, it's all watermarked um, being a free version. So um yeah uh, where's the watermark anyways i've never recognized it's down it. at the bottom right when the video is playing oh, you'll okay. see it i don't think i mind that to be honest with you uh, i would have no problem advertising where i got it from and if i do ai artwork in any way i want people to know it's ai i don't want to i don't want to try to fake it and try yeah. to pretend that i'm not I, I i don't like that idea i think if you're using ai people should know you're using ai it's as simple as that yeah hello world Welcome to the future of AI with talking horses. <laughs> That's awesome. I can play with this like, oh for like uh, hours. <laughs> like I know. It, 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 it's really quite cool. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, I, think, I think what I want to do is I want to I show everybody um, the one I did where I took a picture of myself, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah I think so. That's Because it looks pretty good. Let me let me throw that up there, and I actually have to go and, and actually hit play. So give me a second. Uh, here we go. What you're watching right now is basically just a test. This is a still image of myself, and I'm recording the voice separately. This is being combined using AI at Hedra.com. You can try it out for free yourself. Go to Hedra.com. So uh, now, well, oh, whoops, I actually now. played again. Sorry. Uh, another the the problem here, of course, I have to hide that. What am I doing? Um, <laughs> the problem here, of course, is that I I I basically called it Edra, and apparently it is Hedra. But <laughs> no, uh, yeah. the the big thing is that you could definitely see the flaws in there. Uh, but apparently, if you're looking more dead straight, you're looking right at the camera. When I took that selfie a couple of years back. I, I had my head a little to the side and my shoulders were out like this. And so when the animation started, it made my head move a little too much. And you can see my neck getting thicker and thinner and thicker and thinner. I am not a no neck. You know, uh, I wonder if it would matter too, like if you held your mouth open or closed, like if, if it would make it easier to animate. I, I think, I think the ones I've seen is when you have, either very little smile or a mild smile mm, uh yeah. and depending on what you're telling it to say um if you show very little teeth or no teeth at all mm. right yeah. if your eyes are not too wide but not squinting so if you're just looking like this it's probably the best like result for a picture yeah so if you if you want if you got a picture you find something like that of yourself or you take one of yourself deliberately like that then it's going to work better um 
but the AI generated stuff, man, can you have fun with that? If you can come yeah. up with a prompt that works great, fantastic. If you can't, again, you can use Gemini or or mm -hmm. Copilot yep. or or any number of other AI generating uh, tools, uh, and you could tell it to make you know a beaver with a, a horse's <laughs> mane playing American yeah. rules football in Australia, <laughs> and, and and it will actually make that. Um, yeah. Which would be kind of funny, actually. I would have. <laughs> well, I showed you the one I did of the uh, logo I have for my gaming channel, and it doesn't even have like an actual mouth. It's got like where it looks like skin stretching across the opening, but it was able to know that's the mouth area. And you could actually yeah. see lips moving behind it. It was like, and the head movement was like, yeah. I was like, well, basically, it's a mask. Killer. Yeah. It's a mask that doesn't have a mouth. Uh, yeah. And obviously done very similar to uh, oh I mean I forgot what's the character's name from Ghost Recon uh, not Ghost Recon I mean um, oh it's Ghost is who from yeah, Modern uh, Warfare not, Three from Modern Warfare Three that's yeah. what I'm trying to say yeah it's Ghost basically um, yeah. and if you know the character if you play the game you know, you know what it, what we're talking about um, and he has I think drawing of teeth over the mouth area doesn't he. It's got like a skeleton face mask. Yeah, and of course, right, it's yeah. all different iterations. Yeah, of but it, what yeah. this looked like when he was talking, uh, the one you generated, um, was more like Neo trying to yeah. open his mouth. Yes, that's it. That's exactly it. Yeah. <laughs> but it kept he was talking. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I thought about when you showed it. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. It, oh, there exactly. is a reason why he's basically not bringing that up, though, is that's because... Uh, again, he got, did that with the free program, and there's no commercial use, and 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 that is for that would have been that would be for his gaming channel. So he would have to use the commercial license to do that one. Yeah. So that's why we're not showing you that one right now. <laughs> yeah, because it, it actually says the channel name and you know blah blah blah. So yeah, yeah. But but that's the kind of thing though. Like I could, I mean, I see this like that could be like an intro for my gaming. Like when I yeah. start my streaming, you know. And that would be pretty cool. It'd be pretty awesome. I um, there's so many I, uses I see for shorts and all that. It's just right. Yeah, uh, I still think you should hire a voice artist <laughs> to make sure that you have a perfect voice for it. Yes, but that's up to you. <laughs> but, but you, you know, don't have to hire him. You got a friend that would do it for you for free. But uh, you know, that's a, uh, yeah. I'm just saying. But <laughs> well, here's here's another aspect to it that I was thinking about today is, you know, on the that wellness channel that I have, that's really just talks about, you know, personal improvement and, right. you know, some of the things I've gone through that kind of led me into the, all this whole YouTube aspect is that there's a lot of people like on the different forums I'm a part of and some of these other groups that I've joined. There's a lot of people, especially in our Gen X age bracket, that are really afraid to get on camera, they're scared of it, um, or they don't yeah. know how to do it, or they're nervous about it. But he, they don't mind talking, right? So, how cool would it be for somebody that wanted to get on YouTube? They come in here, they write their script that they want to say, and they create an avatar, and it's their voice, and yeah, the avatar is cool. talking. The their own voice adds credibility, and you know authenticity to what they're doing it's their words it's just a you or, know, puppet basically on, on talking. the other hand on the other hand they could also um even take have a picture of themselves that's just yeah a nice shot yeah. and you could yeah. do it dozens of times until you see the perfect one come up and once right. the perfect picture works then it'll work for any prompt that you give it right yep. uh, so you that's could do true. that over and over until you find the right one but on the same vein of what you're saying even if they didn't, if they were, I don't want my own voice, but I want my, I want my picture, but I'm afraid to be on camera. They can use the picture. They can use the prompt. They can use the AI voice. Bob's yep. your uncle. And then just learn to do the emphasis in certain areas to make it pop more. Put uh, yeah. semicolons where you would normally put a colon, you know, or, or I mean a colon, I mean a, a comma, sorry. Yeah. Uh, because you put a semicolon where you're supposed to put a comma, you end up with a dramatic pause. And it could be perfect if you're trying to get someone to do it like an actor, not sorry, the prompt, the AI. 
Oh yeah, and, yeah, and 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 because I've seen some examples, and it's really amazing. And see these facial expressions I'm making right now. You can get them to do this if you make right. it sound like it's supposed to be exciting. Right. <laughs> and, yep. Because it, it definitely pretty, changes cool. with the inflection. Yep. And so I just see it to where it can really open up a whole new world for somebody that even if they're not, they just want to get on YouTube because they just want a YouTube channel to talk about, you know, gardening or I don't know, whatever. And they're not even talking, you know, they don't even want to monetize. They just want to have fun, but they're scared yeah. to get on camera. This opens up a whole new world for them because yes, it's AI. You're not trying to fake people out. You're just using a puppet and you're giving it the words. It's a tool, yeah. you know, and that's, you're not trying to fake them out like, you know, that's, you know, man with orange hair. I won't say his name, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's not like you're trying to be somebody like you were saying earlier, like you're not trying to be an actor, like you're not trying to mimic or impersonate. You're, you're just creating some random image, but using or your voice you could and just, your words. You could just have, you could just have some AI of a guy going, Hey, Mr. Tangerine Man. <laughs> yeah, I said tangerine, not tambourine. Uh, yeah, I, so you know, anyways, I, honestly, I, just... I, I, I actually wonder now if, if I made an AI character, not necessarily my not a picture of myself, could be, or, 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 or an AI character, and then, and, and then I uh, sang it, my, like sang something, recorded it, because you can, you can do the recording of your own voice talking singing or whatever you want if it sounds like music there's apparently the ai understands that it's music and gives bolder facial expressions the more dramatic the music is you I saw the example uh, uh of the rap guy yeah uh, the 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 uh, was it benjamin frank <laughs> not benjamin frank yeah george washington george washington thank you uh <laughs> doing well i still think was actually that famous actor that's what that face was based on i can't remember his name for some reason um but anyways so if i did you know it's like something like somewhere over the if if the ai would go somewhere yeah, <laughs> it would. Big, yeah. you know i mean that would be kind of cool to see yeah. uh and people would have fun with that and you could have fun with that and it wouldn't matter by the way if you sang yourself whether you could sing or not because it would still be fun. Well, ironically, the funny thing is, when I was on the Discord, I when I don't join the Discord, it was says, you know, like, hey, you go through this channel and, and introduce yourself and blah blah blah. And so when I introduced myself, I said, well, hey, a buddy of mine sent me this website, and I checked it out, and this technology is pretty awesome. I can't wait to play around with it. And yeah. actually, one of the developers was in the Discord that oh, popped cool. in there and said, oh, hey, awesome. Glad you found it. And I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And that's exactly what they want you to do is have fun with it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah exactly. pretty pretty awesome. Yeah. I yeah, thought it was kind of cool that the developer popped in there and chatted on my, my welcome. <laughs> but you know what? I think it's time we segued. And it's a perfect segue. Since we're talking about AI anyways, let's discuss... Well, technically, it's a bad segue because it's not about the AI in the new Pixel 9 series. It's actually, uh, apparently, the Pixel 9 series will be switching their fingerprint reader to ultrasonic. Oh, thank um, God. You know what we forgot to do? We for Oh, wait a minute. We can add that. Hang on a second. Uh, I forgot to do. There we go. Yes. Yeah. No, I, oh crap. I just opened another app. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> um, I've always not really, I've never really had any problems with my fingerprint readers with the, with the, uh, the, the optical ones in, in the last couple of pixels on, under the screen. But the fact of the matter is it's, it's factually not as good. It is slower. And I know that there's a man right on the screen right now. They can testify because he's using an ultrasonic one right now, is he not? I'm looking at you. Um, is camera. it? Yeah, I, I I know. Is is the uh, S23 Ultra? Is it ultrasonic? I thought it was well, still is it, image. Is it on the screen? Is it on the screen? Or is it on the well, button? No, it's on the screen. Then it's ultrasonic. It, Samsung wouldn't put it. They wouldn't put the ultra. They, you know, now you got me wondering. If I'm wrong, I just made a complete. Uh huh. 
I'm pretty sure Samsung, um, I think at least from the 23, if not sooner, uh, just about everybody else has done that. And, and yes, it is they, ultrasonic. Yeah. And, and you but, know what? The truth of the matter is you would know anyways, because you used the pixels before it that had the un, in, underscreen reader. And one of the issues you had was it was opening t- too slowly. If I remember correctly, was that not one of them? Yeah. Well, I have very flat fingerprints. Like it's really not super visible, but I'm going to tell you, knowing that I didn't even think about that. This fingerprint reader on this phone is garbage. Oh, what on your phone? I, Oh my God. I sometimes will have to, I'll hit it two or three times and then it'll get to the point and say, Oh, sorry, we can't recognize your finger. Put your pin in. Otherwise we're going to wipe your phone. Cause I have it set to where if I do it too many times wrong, it wipes my phone. Oh so I gotta my. Put my pin in. So it's, it's so frustrating. And I'm just wondering if maybe, I don't know. I, I would have thought it would have been, yeah, that's, that's uh, irritating. It's frustrating, but the, the, Facial recognition is pretty fast. Yeah, well, facial and, and, even, even on a pixel, it's it's like immediate. Yeah, so it's, it's much know. faster than the fingerprint. Um, yeah. And the thing about it is, is it, it is secure on the Google, and they don't need to have nine thousand special cameras under the screen, you know, right. uh, to do it. Uh, yeah. Is it as phenomenally accurate as Apple's? Well, no, because they don't have nine thousand infrared laser cameras and stuff going on (laughs) i'm acting like i don't know how it works i do but (laughs) but but the bottom line is is google google's technology for facial recognition worked it's not like the old style facial recognition where all it does was it saw a picture of you and turned the phone on for you that was something that was available in in android from uh kitkat i want to say or was it sooner earlier than that Mm, I don't recall honestly, but people yeah. used to get so mad at that because, like, you could just hold a picture up to it. And yeah, it, it was secure. Phone, so, and yeah. once they started doing the fingerprint readers, about three generations of fingerprint readers in, uh, they Google just pulled the plug on it, and you couldn't get facial recognition at all on a Pixel yeah. phone. Uh, from I think it was from the first Pixel. Actually, I think the uh, the very last Nexus may have still had it. I might be wrong. Um, I I but, so miss the button on the back of the Pixel. That was so easy, just to try. I, and, I you know what? Man, a a lot of people say, and I do, and I do get it because I kind of like the idea. I can put my thumb down on it when it's lying down. But I I never complained about it when it was on the back. And picking it up opened instantaneously. And when people say, "Oh, but ultrasonic is the best possible," no, the physical hardware. Yeah, uh, fingerprint reader on the back of the phone that when you picked up the phone, it was on because your finger was on it. And I just yeah. took a screenshot. <laughs> Tap to take screenshots. Oops. Yeah. And, um, and see, whenever I put my phone down on the table, I always put it face down because I, I don't I want the privacy. And so if I feel it vibrate I, or buzz, then I'll pick it up. And I used to just pick it up, put my finger, boom. And it was just like yeah, one flawless motion, you know. No, don't don't yeah. get me wrong. Much like my Pixel, your S23, as you mentioned, by the time, you, if you pick it up and you just flip it right away, it's going to see your face and turn on instantly anyway. Yeah. It's, it, it is that quick. Like, I mean, honestly, like, look, look. Well, I, I had to check to see if the screen was even on. Okay. Uh, is that, yeah, is that, wait, where am I? That's the, that's the lock screen. Yeah, I can, I, don't ask. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, if I turn it around, it's already what the hell? Now it didn't work. <laughs> you know why it didn't work? It actually went to sleep as I was turning it. Oh yeah, because you did. Yeah, it's, you. Did, yeah. So, um, so anyways, it, so. okay. Lock screen. I turn it around, and again, it didn't work. So I, uh, you know what? There you go. I can't wait to get the next phone because honestly, yeah. I, in, in all fairness, I am running fifteen beta. Okay. So oh, well, it, yeah, you it, said you were having it, cameras issues earlier too. So uh, yeah, there may be there may be a few things that are going wrong with it right now. Uh, but again, I can't get mad. I I chose to put the beta on. You put a yeah. beta on, you got to pay the price or shut up. <laughs> That's it. 
right? So I'm not going to complain. Uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to file the bug, which is what you're supposed to do. If you don't file the bug, you can't complain that it doesn't get fixed. What <laughs> right. if you, you know? So you file the bug, let it go. But I, I I will say this though, for Google, since they're not going back to the back, having the fingerprint uh, be ultrasonic is a is a beautiful step in the right direction. Uh, yeah. Excuse me while I while I actually, oh, did Android kill another uh, uh, another app? <laughs> well, you know, while you're playing with your phone there, I don't know how many of you watched that uh, Galaxy Unpacked event. Um, I know Lionel didn't watch it. I was able to watch it. Yeah. And the Galaxy AI technology, which uses Gemini, they're very much in bed with Google with their whole AI technology, which I think is great because yeah. I think Google's definitely on the right track. They have some improvement to do, but they're on the right oh, yeah. track. And the AI, like in the, they came out with the new flip and fold which I'm still not sold on bendable screens. Sorry. That's going to have to be another couple of years at least before it's going to sell me to use one. I mean, I, I, I have a hard time spending $2,000 on a phone that bends that. Yeah. Anyways, but they're amazing. The rest of the hardware is fantastic. The galaxy watch is fantastic. And I actually have a galaxy watch that is, I just got my shipping notification. So I might actually have it before next podcast where i can play around with it uh it has its yeah, own we're, it has its we're own all looking forward to yeah those there. so um when i get my s25 ultra and i already have the galaxy watch 7 i'll really get to see the integration with all the galaxy ai stuff it's, but it's speaking speaking of watch and phone integration <laughs> sorry it's, it's segue time again I got this one here. Uh, so again, I'm skimming stuff. This is I got from nine to five Google. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice got all trailed off like that. Uh, <laughs> Pixel Watch Find My Device Network support coming soon. What? Uh, why? I I thought it was already just automatic, like the Pixel, you know, like the phone itself. But <laughs> no, it wasn't. So mm. it's not, I couldn't track my watch right now if I wanted to. Yeah, I, see, that's crazy. I mean, I'm glad it's coming soon, but come on, man. Out of the gate, right? Yeah. Because I can open if the people with the watch have that working, especially if they have an LTE watch, that automatically makes the trackers work better. I saw a guy with a Pixel watch who didn't have a Pixel phone the other day. So <laughs> don't think that it's impossible. You You technically can do that, you know. It's an Android, so you technically can use the Pixel Watch with another phone. Yeah, just like I can get a Galaxy Watch. I don't need a Samsung. There's a few features I need a Samsung phone for, but the vast majority of the of the watch's features, being Android Wear, work on any Android phone. Yeah. So. Yeah, I um, I actually have some got a fantastic deal on Amazon Prime and you guys have a few hours left you want to go buy some stuff on Amazon Prime yeah, but I do Great. have some because I'm going to be taking some trips coming up here in the next two three months and I wanted to be able to put those trackers in my luggage I hear so much about lost luggage these days <laughs> and so I thought what a perfect way to test the Samsung you know uh, smart tracker too and I also got yeah. a Pebble Bee from Google because I had some Google credits that I didn't know I had. So I'm going to be able to kind of test those. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how well yeah. that um, those two technologies well, compare hopefully, to each other. Yeah, I think it'll probably work better where you're going than almost anywhere else in the U.S. where iPhones are still more prevalent. But by the time you get there, the network will be pretty much on anyone's devices. There'll be more people that will have bought them. And um, if Android is more popular where you're going than iPhone, there's there's a chance that you might have a decent experience with it. Yeah, but uh, see, if, if so, you did it in Las Vegas right now, there would be nothing but iPhones and it wouldn't work very well at all. Well, let me see that. So, yeah. So, see, this is my Galaxy stuff. It sees every single one of my devices. And, of course, they're all at the house right now. 
Yeah, it that's just easy. automatically sees them. So it's like everything I have: watch, buds, phone, my laptop. I mean, it's all there. I could track any of those devices at any time, anywhere, as long as they were turned on, obviously. But um, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting reason, to see. For some reason, mine isn't trying to track my buds. Why? <laughs> when did this become a thing? Why are my Pixel Buds not being tracked? And by the way, as far as I understand it, Pixel Buds don't technically work traditionally, well, eventually traditionally, uh, in the Find My Device Network the way the, the Pixel phones and the Pixel Watch eventually will and the new okay. Chipolo and whatnot. But they've always been findable. So as long as they're nearby they'll still be spotted by something else in the network hmm. because they're pixel buds. They, they, right. they, they can be found easily anyways, as long as you're near them. So if any other thing that's on the network is near it, they will be found easily. But oddly, they're not here. What the? Yeah, that's kind of weird. What is wrong? Are they I on? got two phones and they, Maybe they have to be matter. All- no, it, it should show up there anyways and just say last seen. That's the way yeah. that works. Now, keep in mind, my phone eventually, if it hasn't started doing it already, no, I think it's still eventually, uh, I won't, my phone won't even have to be on for, I think it's a day or two or something like that. It can actually be completely off. And instead of just saying, oh, it was last seen, it will say it's in this area. So I, I I don't know how it works, but there there's something that basically maybe it shuts off when there's still three percent, but allows you know the wideband to to run in the background or something. I have no idea. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'd I'd love to get the documents on that and just prove through that because I'd really like to know what makes that work. But uh, oh, there's really not a lot going on with this find my device thing. Did my network stop working? This looks like the old version all of a sudden. Well, maybe it's the uh, beta that's acting funky. But, you know, it's it's obviously, we all know that Google has some work on their Find My Network stuff. Um, it's well known. Um, it'll be, I'll be really curious to see when I travel, because I'll have the pebble b and a galaxy device in the same piece of luggage so i get to see just exactly what the difference is and how it you know pinpoints and locates that piece of luggage with both systems so i'll be curious to see but you know some of this um i can't read that oh yeah i have the uh with network in all areas option on because i want it to be as easy uh, as possible when it actually starts working like it's supposed to. yeah well it's it's true google fashion they are on their own time frame and and i think it won't be long before they actually improve it but yeah we'll see i don't know i i'm still you know <laughs> on the fence about some of it because they just need to fix it. There's, there's no reason why they shouldn't have been able to come out with it, just like you know, ha- and compete with Samsung and Apple. Well, how they have no networks. wait, wait. They, they still wouldn't have been able to do it as as quickly because first of all, the quickest way to do it would be to basically allow any phone with a certain level of Android already running, as long as uh, you know the, it was updated to the latest. And that takes a long time. Some people just refuse to update their, their phones. But you you would have millions overnight. So it would make it better. Not everyone has to necessarily have a tracker. But the phones, watches. Now, the, the thing is, is that if the Samsung supports if their watches, <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to because it's Wear OS, what, 5 now? I don't remember. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah. the seven is the first we, watch to come yeah. out with that. And and now if it has if it has ultra wide band, it does. Uh, there you go, and it supports Google's Find My Device network, which I don't know if it does. But if it did, that would make a huge difference because there's going to be literally millions of Samsung Galaxy watches sold in the next several months. 
Yeah. Millions That's a good point. Them, I'll have to right? remember. So check if they that. supported it, then all of a sudden those trackers would become way more relevant. And every time there was that many more out, they would become even more relevant. As long as there's none, they're not going to work where the squat. Because they've got nothing to, to talk to. What yeah, but talk to? my issue is that it's not like this has just suddenly come into market. These trackers between Samsung and Apple have been around for a long time. There's no reason why Google couldn't have started development way back when, when these other two oh, started bringing theirs out. And that, that's, that's they, their they own fault. Have. They and, just and, and the ball there. Furthermore, maybe they should have talked to Samsung about licensing or something or just like convince them to open up your technology uh, and, and, and uh, just make the app available to everybody and integrate it with Google's Find My Device network. You yeah, know, maybe give genius. a couple of extra features. You know, maybe tack some extra mm -hmm. features onto your personal one for Samsung owners, right? But let everyone yeah. else use the Samsung trackers. Because if that was the case, it would be almost instant overnight. Here we are parody with Apple's trackers. Yeah. As it stands now, uh, if you put uh, uh, whatever Apple's called, what is it, an eye tag or something? I don't know what the hell you call it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you if you put one in your car, it's probably going to track. Sometimes when it's moving, and almost always if it ends up in a parking lot in a mall or an airport, mm -hmm. because there's always going to be something else within forty feet or less. Yeah, it will so. find something else, and mm -hmm. you'll be able to track it. If you do that with uh, a Chipolo tag right now, it might tell you in three hours where it was an hour and a half ago. <laughs> and, and I've seen videos where this has been true. The guy, he put this two trackers. He put the Apple one. Actually, sorry, he used Samsung as well. He used Samsung one, the Apple one, and I, it was. I think it was. I, I think he used the Chipolo and the um, Pebble Bee. Yeah, uh, and he put all four in the same piece of luggage, and he tracked. Okay, the Apple one basically said every time it moved even slightly, here it mm -hmm. is. Yeah, uh, and, and there it's going, and this is the direction it's moving in right now. Uh, the Samsung one was not as good, but it still gave several updates and definitely told him exactly where it was when it hit final destination. Yeah. Uh, the Chipolo and whatever the other one is called. <laughs> anyway, Pebbleby. Pebbleby, yes. Uh, I'm not going to get sponsorship deals with them, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> they, 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 um, in both cases, they screwed up badly enough that uh, one of them finally said the final destination long after it got there uh, and only gave like two updates the entire trip. <clears throat> yeah. including one that was long after it was gone from that location. And the other yeah. one never actually showed where it was. And eventually in the thing last seen back at the original location. Yeah. After updating, it didn't even <laughs> save the updates. It defaulted back to the last scene, even though it wasn't the last scene. So that is not him. And these are the new trackers. I'm not talking about the yeah. ones they've been telling for years. That, that's an epic failure. That is an epic failure. And, and, and so for that reason alone, I refuse to buy them because it's not ready. Now, in, in the case of this one, whichever one, I don't remember if it was Pebble Bee or Chipolo, but whichever one it was, uh, it, that's an absolute no-no for me. They need to have a second generation. I don't know if a software update does that. I don't know if they're updatable. So yeah. I would honestly, I would stay away from them. Like, like I don't want to be in a, sound like a jerk off, but why waste your money on something that isn't going to work well? If you own a Samsung phone, get a Samsung tag. If you own an Apple yeah. phone, get the Apple tag. If you own something else, get the original trackers and just know that they won't necessarily tell you exactly where your stuff is unless it hasn't moved for a while. Yeah. I use a Chipolo, just a Chipolo with the Chipolo app and Chipolo network and all that. And I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't like super accurate, but I agree. I mean, it's, and it's all, it, it all comes down to ecosystem. You know, when, yeah. 
if you're in an ecosystem, use everything you can within that ecosystem and it'll just work flawlessly, you know, and you just won't have issues. Generally speaking, that is the best. That's another, again, another reason why, as you brought up, Google for crying out loud, just bring us your own tracker. Yeah. Yeah. August 13th, tell us we get a track. <laughs> yeah well i'd since they made the pebble be the official tracker that's available on the google store now which is where i bought the tag that i got i don't know they're going to come out with their own tracker but they did that once before with a different product i don't remember what it was they also did it with a speaker and then they came out with the google home like three weeks later or something so it, it's it's not impossible no, no, it's yeah, not impossible. But yeah, it, it's, it's, it, but it's it, Google. It's Google. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if a single Samsung, the Tracker 2, can be tracked by two phones. Because my wife has an S23 Ultra as well. I'm wondering if we can pair both our phones to the same tracker so that, let's say I lost my phone. I can say, hey, honey, let me see your phone. I need to track my luggage. Well, well first of all, I would assume the answer should be yes. I Since, think so. As far as I know, you can have 10 iPhones all tracking one other iPhone, yeah. iPad, or Apple tracker device. Uh I'm pretty sure let's say everything that I own that can be tracked, my phone watch buds are trackable from both phones, which track each other as well. But it's this, uh, you have the same account logged into both phones. Oh, you mean a completely separate account? That's right. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's different because you're talking but, about, but if you can pair it to the tracker, if we could both pair it to the tracker. Well, if you're talking about matter. the old thing, maybe, but not on, not, not the Google's, by my device network it would happen no, no, no. i'm talking about the samsung account. tag oh samsung tag well i i have no idea how that works yeah i'm gonna i'm that's uh, interesting i'll have to find that out when i get it i'm gonna I'll guess no it. i'm gonna guess the answer is probably <clears throat> no with with the possible exception if you were able to do something similar to what google phones do which by the way i i love it and it works better on pixels than anything well actually any android phone really um is that you can have several different accounts. Like you might have X amount. Everybody knows this, right? You got two, three, four, five emails, a couple of business, a couple of personal, one for your gaming channel or whatever it is you do. But yeah. you can actually use account that is not your main account to sign into certain things. Even for tracking, you would just have to change which one you were looking at. Like if I go into the find my device, Excuse me a second again. Yeah, I know what you're oh, saying because I created a well, I created well, a you personal might, you email. might know, but I, I'm doing this for the benefit of anybody viewing. In my Find My Device Network, my picture up here, I will hit that and I can well it says sign as guest. Or I can add, oh, wait a minute, I can't change it. Oh yes, I can. I had to hit the button. Then I've got a whole list of names down mm -hmm. here for my yeah. other accounts. So I could actually just sign into a different account, track it, and and Bob's your uncle. So I think it would work, but it would be like that, where she would have to do a pull down, drop down, tap, or whatever it is to change it. Uh, again, I can't guarantee that because it's Samsung; it's not the Google. Yeah, that's that's a good point. That's that might be. I don't know. We'll have to test it because I do have an account that I created for her. That's a Google account, a just a regular Gmail. Right. Um, so that way, I could share certain things within the Google environment because. And again, I don't know why Google does not allow certain things to work within a Google Workspace business account, which is what yeah. her primary account is for her is practice. So I had to create a Gmail account in order to share certain things so we could use the same services and you know nests and all kinds of stuff. But at any rate, I could use that account. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if I could just use her phone and just somehow pair it, and my phone that would be cool too but i don't know we'll find out i'm gonna i got a lot of testing to do which is gonna be fun so <laughs> uh yeah and uh, again I, I just want to reiterate if for any reason you feel like you're uncomfortable getting into the into the seat of an incredibly powerful car on a german roadway i will be happy 
to take your place and make you feel better. Well, maybe I'll let you track. Maybe I'll let you track my tracker as I'm going around the track. (laughs) Well, you know what? Listen, if you can get a good roaming data plan or use or use a local sim when you're there or whatever that gives you unlimited data or something, then for the love of God, give me share your location on the map at the time so I can actually (laughs) watch you go around the track. I'm not even joking. And, yeah. and and again, if you get unlimited, stream the son of a bitch. Yeah, well, I Verizon would has some functionality. It, and they charge you like a day pass. Uh, Who does? We, Sam, uh, Verizon. Because uh, my wife and I use it like when we go, um, you know, on vacation and whatnot, when we go out of country. So yeah. we'll, I'll have to see, you know, what its function. I don't know if it's unlimited or not. I don't remember. My son, though, has a Google Pixel that actually runs on Google Fi, and it pretty much works anywhere in the entire world, pretty much. There's so many countries that you get your regular data. Everything's almost exactly the same. It's like nothing changes. Yeah, but amazing. keep in mind, you're, you're going around the longest racetrack on the planet. <laughs> yeah. I want to see it streamed. That would be a lot of data in a foreign country. So uh, even if it was your normal data. So what I'm saying is if you can get uh, 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 a local SIM for just the data, you know, keep keep in mind this is Germany, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. They probably have like twenty dollars. They probably have like a twenty dollar data only unlimited or something like that. Something equivalent to twenty dollars, I mean. Yeah, twenty you know, Deutsch yeah. marks, right? I was going to say French francs. Why would they, or do they use euros there? What am I saying? <laughs> you know, I don't know. That's a good question. I have no idea. I, how do you say yeah. stream it in German? I don't even know. I should know this. because <laughs> <laughs> No idea. <laughs> yeah, no idea. But yeah, it's, it'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, actually, I would, I would love to see that. As a matter of fact, what the heck? Go all out. Get yourself three or four more GoPros and put them all over the other side of the car. Well, I'm already paid for a, a plan, and I'm taking my GoPro with me, so I'm going to have two different recordings already. So that's going to have to be enough. Yeah, but they're both going to be inside the car. <laughs> See, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if they are, like, one outside. I don't I don't know what their I don't know is, that but... they allow it to be outside the car, because if it falls off, they have to stop everybody and send a cleanup crew. Well, no, no, but there's people drive around with them on their personal cars. I see it all the time. Oh, they do on the outside. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Also, they do allow it then. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That you. I mean, obviously, you don't buy you know the cheap suction cups from the from the corner electronics store. You get get the good stuff. Yeah, that's meant to actually be used for that purpose. But yeah. it, that that is cool. I mean, I I I, I swear to, I can't find it to save my life, but I do have a video of me on a track, much smaller with a much less powerful vehicle but it was it's also a smaller track with tighter corners so it was still a lot of fun that was uh, several years ago but i would i would love to yeah. see that you know when you're out there because god knows i'm not the one doing it uh live yeah. like oh i mean i'm gonna i'll do i'll do everything i can because it's going to be on yeah. one of my youtube channels so i think that's yeah. going to be uh um you know I think I think it's going to be watchable it's going to be pretty cool worst well, case scenario if i can't stream it but i know that they, I, yeah I'm going to upload it. No, I'm going to say, even if it's not streamable, obviously very shortly thereafter, I'll have edited and uploaded it to YouTube at a hotel Wi-Fi or something. Hotel. Yeah. They probably have better Wi-Fi there in our hotels than we do around the area. I don't know. Some of the Wi-Fi. Some of them are pretty. No, it's that, 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 that trope about hotel Wi-Fi and barely getting anything. It's not as much. The last time I was in a hotel was, I was actually like, what i got 55 megabits per second it's like i i mean that's not brilliant but compared to yeah. like eight nine years ago where you not even that five years ago um you go to a hotel or even a cafe and you'd be lucky to get two and a half yeah the biggest issue i see in hotels is not so much the speed once you're connected it's getting connected Because they do those um, DNS redirects for their terms and conditions and put your room number and all that BS. And half the time, those pages won't load. 
so you you can't actually get on but yeah you know, that's the only the, frustrating the, thing that's the thing that i kind of like about the amount of data that you can get on your on your mobile plans nowadays yeah. you can get so much if you're only staying one night in a hotel you're spending most of the day out somewhere else having dinner sightseeing whatever it is you're doing right yeah and you go back and you go I'm three and a half hours and i'm gonna go to sleep you can basically just just stream stuff to your phone your tablet or even plug it into your to this hotel tv and, and and watch a movie netflix disney plus or something you've got on your computer if you want to you can stream stuff right just from your own data no well, problem most of the time what i'll do is i'll take a uh i'll take a chromecast <laughs> and i'll plug the chromecast into the tv and then i'll use my hotspot on my phone since you yeah. can't take a chromecast to the you know terms and conditions page yeah, and yeah i'll just exactly. stream my co- my chromecast off my uh and that phone. and that works. I like the way you, you held it up like this, like you're talking about the original Chromecast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not still using the original Chromecast. It's no. not if it's important. I mean, what is it? Yeah, no. I, yeah, I actually forgot what it even looked like until you did this. <laughs> it was a tiny little thing. A little round thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You lose that in the drop of a hat. I loved I loved it when it first came out because it was it was it was bold it was new you didn't have to stream from your phone I mean it your phone just yeah. told it what to do and it went okay give me the stuff off the internet but it, remember at the time there was no way to plug them in at all they were pure wireless mm-hmm. right uh, you didn't I mean you could cast from your phone to it but when you did that it was really slow and even when it was casting directly from the internet via your phone telling it what to do it, it froze a lot uh yeah. it would go blank it would restart it would get hot it was uh, it was neat but it was honestly a terrible piece of garbage compared <laughs> yeah. to the generation that came after and, yeah. and ironically enough though the second generation the puck style one i had to restart that one a lot it would screw up but it, when it didn't need to be restarted it actually worked really well, but the four yeah, K even even the even the Google right. TVs that have are you know the yeah. little the little dongle things. It's the you know yeah. Google TV. Yeah, they're just it, weak. It just crashes too sometimes. Yeah, that, that's it's yeah, but the, in that particular case, it's fully a RAM issue, not not a process. Right. Yeah. It's just yeah. because for some reason they decided to put a billionth of a megabyte of RAM in it or something. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I think, like, I'm pretty sure Windows 98 would run on this <laughs> thing. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it, it's a joke because, uh, I mean, you know what? You want to make that cheap piece of garbage? Do it. But for the love of God, give me a more expensive option that gives me everything Google's willing to give me out of the box. But with all the benefits of having something like a Shield TV Pro, I want my USB audio. You know? Yeah, but see, even the Shield is irritating because they haven't updated that thing in forever. And they're still selling on Amazon like it's some brand new fresh tech and it's not. Well, it's I don't irritating. know about forever. It is It is actually running 13. It was updated a few months back or six months ago, whatever it is, to Android 13. It's yeah, never but- going to go higher because it's getting it's getting long in the tooth now. But I'm, I'm having like, issues with mine where I have to unplug it and plug it back up because it'll freeze and it won't stream right. I've anymore. had I've had a few. I've had yeah. a few. Um, it's like I said, it's getting long on the tooth. It still operates mostly properly mostly. most of the time. But <laughs> yeah, there's there's always something. At least once a week, there's it might be a tiny issue that's not that big of a deal. Turn it on and turn it off. You don't even have to restart. Just turn it on, turn it off. But sometimes it's more like what you're saying. And I've had full out frozen, like freezing. Yeah. I had one time where it wouldn't even restart. And I was like panicking. I was like, oh my God, this is it. It's done. I'm going to have to buy some cheap Chinese model now that, that doesn't have USB audio and won't work next week. Yeah. Um, but then it, it finally came back. It was actually frozen during a restart. <laughs> so it froze. <laughs> On a blank screen, and that that's why <laughs> that lasted 15 minutes while I yeah. panicked. I was like practically crying like a little girl. <laughs> Ridiculous. TV. Well, that uh, I think is a segue to our ending. Um, yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, listen, I, this has been um, an AI 
podcast and which is cool because that's what this is all about you know tech but, but and, we're not ai no to be clear <laughs> why is this covering my face entirely i meant to actually have it more like but i can't uh, even get it right i meant to do this that's still not go, right go check out that hedra it's really awesome and if you have yeah. a need to actually use it i mean it's super super amazing i mean go check it out and have some fun with it and um i'll be go. doing That's some fair. i'll be giving some information when i get my watch and those tags and all that because i think uh i think that's an interesting topic but um uh, yeah so hey i'm robert from the u.s and we really appreciate you guys watching and i'm gonna hand it over to say goodbye from Lionel from toronto canada and i hope you have a really great week and we forgot to mention one thing we're going to have to next week show you some pictures. I believe you have some pictures, maybe some videos from uh, 4th of July. Oh, because yes. We have- We're sorry we did not get last week's video. The maybe AI we had some issues, up. but yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can definitely do that because I did make a short little four minute. Yeah. You know, well, basically, video, you promised so. to show them. So you're going to have to be held to that. But for now, <laughs> we can do that. You have a great week and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.